tonight when President Obama said he doesn't apologize and he's being honest, considering the State Department just spent seventy thousand dollars in taxpayer funds to put apology advertisements on Pakistani television, apologizing for the video that they blamed for the Libya violence. Well, I think that um, it really began with uh, the speech that he gave in Cairo, which was his major foreign policy address. And there were examples in that speech where, um, in other instances, where he uh, was apologetic for America. So, in other words, places where I believe that he should have stand strongly for the actions of America instead of uh, really coming and, and, and making that round trip, as the governor mentioned, should have gone to Israel, where he didn't do that. So I think that this has been a pattern with this administration, and I know that Governor Romney will make sure uh, that, that we stand strong for America, that we don't apologize for America, that we stand uh, strong. We are uh, the leader of the free world, and we stand for human rights and human dignity, and I think it's important to, to point that out. Um, and, and I think the example that the governor gave about the Green Revolution is an important one. Um, and, and really, Governor Romney had that right. When the students were in the streets of Tehran, and they were asking for things that we have in this country, like freedom uh, and, and a say in their own future, basic human rights, the president remained silent for a long time. A president of the United States should stand up when people rise in the streets for asking for their own basic human rights. And so Governor Romney hit that point strongly, and I think it's a very important point. Do you think President Obama was dishonest in saying that he doesn't apologize for America, considering his history of Well, I disagree with the president on that. I think he's taken a, an apologetic tone too often for America. And so uh, that's one where I certainly, uh, I, I believe that Governor Romney stated that fairly and accurately. Thank you. With um, uh, Governor Romney's performance tonight, how do you think that impacted the vote of the, the younger people, say the students of Lynn University, and also g gaining more of the women's vote? You know, I think that overall what, what Governor Romney did tonight is he showed that he is strong, he's knowledgeable, he's ready to be commander-in-chief. And when I think about um, particularly the students here at the university, uh, it's the economy for these students. We can't have a strong foreign policy or a strong military without a strong economy. We just can't do it. And for students who are here in college, right now college grads, 50% of them that are coming out are either unemployed or can't find a job commiserate with a college degree. What Governor Romney is going to do is turn our economy around through a five-point plan. If I were a student right now, that would be the thing I'd be most focused on. Because after having worked so hard to get my degree, put, my, put myself through college with my parents' help in some instances, then you want to come out and have that opportunity to start your career. Right now, our college students are not getting that opportunity. And that's where I think the Governor Romney has the strongest plan. Uh, the president, frankly, doesn't have a plan to, to right. show us that the next four years are going to be different to turn our economy around. So for students, I think there's a clear choice in this election of someone who understands how the private sector works is going to make sure that they have greater opportunities than we have right now. We're seeing a lot of movement in the polls. Florida is really leaning or going towards um, Romney. How do you think he's going to do in Ohio? Uh, I think that uh, it's neck and neck in Ohio. I, I feel like uh, he's going to win Ohio, but I know the polls are very close. Same thing in my home state of New Hampshire. We're a swing state as well. Right. The polls have really closed together, um, and, and uh, this is neck and neck, and I think this election overall will be till the end. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.